Welcome to another episode of Apollo University on how to issue an asset. Let's get right into it. With your wallet open, navigate to the asset area on the left hand navigation bar and then select all assets. Here you will be presented with a list of all assets on the Apollo blockchain. The name of the asset, the issuing wallet, the number of accounts that hold this asset, the number of transfers that have taken place, the number of trades, initial supply, and total supply if different to initial. If you click on the name of the asset, it will take you to the asset exchange. Here, you can view the description of the asset, the issuing account, the asset ID, and the amount of decimals. You can also click on view asset distribution to view a list of accounts holding this asset type. In this instance, the issuer is still holding 100% of the Nike asset. If we view the asset distribution for the asset called Bitcoin, you will see many holders as this asset has been transferred and traded to a number of wallets. You can see by the information on the All Assets screen that the Bitcoin asset is held by 7 accounts. It has had 4 transfers and been traded 8 times. Let's create an asset. First, click on Issue Assets button. Next, choose your asset name and type it into the selected box. Now we need to enter your description followed by the quantity of assets. Next, we need to enter the allowed decimal places. Fees. Fees for assets can be found on the Apollo Wiki page, www.apollowiki.net. If the displayed fee is incorrect, check the custom fee box and enter the correct fee. Finally, Key in or paste your secret phrase, followed by the 2FA code if you have enabled this. Now press Issue Asset. Congratulations, you have now issued your asset. To view your asset and its options, navigate to the My Assets in the Assets sidebar. Here you will be able to transfer assets to other wallets delete shares, or again click on the asset name to take you to the asset exchange. This concludes the video tutorial on how to issue an asset.